Nope, don't like the sound of that. I'm gonna keep. Uh, oh, oh, oh! It, it's, it turned. It turned. Why did it turn? I'm docked. I'm docked. I'm docked. I'm docked. Don't touch me. I'm docked. I'm docked. Don't touch me. Duck, 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 duck. Everybody off the boat. Material pile. This is an island where the builder wants materials delivered. Oh. Well then. Uh, it's not the island that I thought you were. I swear I just seen that they are. I swear I saw some fish here a second ago. Go to fish. Go to fish. Go to fish. Ooh, low. Oh, right, 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 right. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Hold on, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it figured out. Got it. Got it figured out. Hold on. Hold on. Got it. What the hell is this? Bolt of cloth. Not what I needed. It says that I need to get two lumber and two scraps. I definitely have two of those things. I'm tripping right now. I am obviously tripping. Scrap. Lumber. Ah, well, keep fishing. Wait, not going back. Follow the mystical wind. Gotta be something good over there, right? Uh, I saw that pink stuff off in the air. Oh, no. Good or bad? Good or bad? Good or bad? You let me know right now. Hold on. Voltaic grouper. Species something something. Okay, we're gonna leave. Time to go. Is that scrapping a fish? A lot of fish. It is fish. I'm staying rice. I need scrap. Where's scrap at? Scrap. A one strong wooden hole lays broken against the shoreline. The stern is completely beached. Try to get inside the stern that's underwater? You pull a bit closer and manage to clamber into the back of the wreck. You look around. Oh shit, scrap. Hell yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Scrap. Research park. Yes. I need the button for Resident Evil 4 where they auto sort. One of these items later. Pearl earrings. I'll take that. Uh, what else can we take? How do I get this in here? We can take this. Hold on. Grab this. Hold on. Go. Down over there. Go back to this. Go here. Go. go. Okay. Never mind. I can't do that. Uh, I can do... Wait. I'm an idiot. I had two spots. Right. I had a spot right there. What did y'all tell me about that spot right there? There we go. There's that bad boy. Oh, that's why. Oh, no. It fits. It's fine. Okay. Now let's go back because I'm definitely running out of space. Scrap it up. No, scrap it up. No, scrap it up. No, scrap it. You're welcome. You've delivered all the necessary materials. You should let the builder know. I don't even know where the builder's at, y'all. I've smoked a lot of pot on this water. I have no idea what's happening. I'm going to guess, though, he's somewhere back at the main island. So that's where I'm going to head to. Something's glowing over there. I want it. Do we even have space for it? Yeah, we got plenty of space. This is fine. Even though it's getting a little dark. Grabbing this, grabbing this, oh, I'm grabbing this, not gonna die. Nag squid. Okay, let's leave before a bird decides to rob me. Oh, trader, storage, grieving father, hello. Hello, is everything okay? I don't know, you tell me, the one with the green exclamation bark beside your head. You know about any strange occurrences. I don't get out a lot anymore, so I don't see much of that what goes on. But I do remember the old mayor in his final days. What an awful sight it was. Screaming and throwing things into the sea. Throw it back, he would cry over and over. Begging anyone who would listen, howling to the wind. These days, I almost feel like I understand. Anything else I can help you with? You didn't help me with anything there. You didn't say it. You just... Okay, thanks for the... Whatever. Tell me about some ships. Well, yes. You see... My only son was lost at sea some years ago. Seems to be a common theme out here. He's still out there, somewhere, in one of those wrecks. All alone in the cold, dark water. The man is clearly trying his hardest to remain composed, but tremors of grief rack his body. I was <clears throat> wondering. I noticed you have some dredging equipment installed on your vessel. Be looking at my boat. If you're able to retrieve any of his belongings from the wreck, I think you'd feel more at peace if his mementos were with me. I should ask him first, or my trader first. He wore a bronze belt buckle, specially engraved, 
I'd recognize it anywhere. If there's a chance you could find it, I'd be in your debt. Give the belt buckle to the man. Yeah, if I have it, sure, take it. I don't care. You give the belt buckle to the man. Was it in that ship on the beach that I saw earlier? This is... This is his! Oh. Thank you. Oh. Bless you. Yeah. You've returned him to me. Please, take this. I'm not any money to pay you, but this might hold some value to you. Oh, yes, it will. I'll take that. I'm not making jokes. You gave me something I actually needed. Anything else? You didn't help me with anything. I helped you, dude. All right, well, that's that. Dock worker. Can you say something to you? How's the day treating you? Uh, I don't care about any of that. I'm just going to sleep now. Actually, I'm going to research some things, right? Nope, can't do that. Need to get on the boat. Oh, wait, no. I need to do it at the dock, which is right here in front of me. Research. Two parts. Let's see here. What's I'm going to do with the engine? The engine is still really slow. Increasing. Here we go. Speed. Increasing speed. Yep. That's the one I want. Plus 36 knots. That means something to me or to somebody out there watching that knows something about boats. Oh, we got to check that, that crab pot. It's been here for like two or three days. I can't wait to get the butter boiling. I mean, warm, not boiling. Look at that crab. It is a big one. Fiddler crab. Relatively normal sized crab with a preposterously large claw. The claw can grow with incredible strength, but the arm is fragile and can be snapped off with ease. I'm gonna eat you. Or sell you. No, I'm gonna sell you, then eat you. Or both. I, no, I don't know what I'm saying. Put this here. Put this here. Put this here. I'm just moving things around. This is not helping anything. Eh. I already have two of these. You can take this bowl of cloth. Goodbye. Discarding. Take this crab. A common crab. Oh, my crab's common. Not everybody has these crabs. These are special crabs. Club crabs, as some would say. Hey, builder. Guess what I did for you? You've done it? Well, no sense in wasting time. Let's get moving. But, passenger, you can return to these items later. Look at the... Looking at the horizon with a steel certainty. I've got to store her like cargo? I'll come back for her? No room on deck. Come back when you have more space. I'll be waiting. I don't feel good about how we're treating you. Why are you riding with the cargo in the bottom of the ship? Fishmonger, have you got any crabs for that order? I sure do. Don't forget, if you're crab... Pots get a little bit worn out. The shipwright could. Nah, I know that. I got a big one that I actually wanted to eat. Hold on, let me make him fit right. There you go. And then I got the small one. I'm eating that special one. The fishmonger wraps up the crab and hands you some money. These will do. Glad you got some use out of that old pot. You can always buy more here or repair damaged ones at the shipyard. I have one final request for you. As you've seen, some fish around here can develop odd uh, deformities. What do you think happens to a person that eats the fish of one of those mutants? They go mad, probably. Well, perhaps, but I want to know for sure. Bring me a mutant fish. Well, any will do. Just, you know, keep this between the two of us because I want to see people go lunatic. Tick. Mm -hmm. I want this island to become the purge. Have you got any of those mutants with you now? Sure do. Remember, any aberrant will suffice. I suspect they're all the same underneath. Here. You're welcome. The fishmonger takes the aberrated fish from you. He clutches it close to his chest, wringing his hands around its slimy body. <sighs> Yes, this should do nicely. Here's what the fish is worth, and why don't you take these two? They're of no use to me. Oh, thank you. I, I love it that people are giving me the shit that I need. No useless stuff around here. Ooh, do you hear that? It sounds like the faintest whispering. Did you eat that thing? You listen. Silence. In the stillness of the room, the fishmonger's hands begin to tremble. Oh, boy. His face grows anguished. We killed the fishmonger. Please. Now what you need... Then leave. I must deal with this creature. Quickly now. Uh, well, like, uh, mackerel. Gotta sell this mackerel. Uh, is there anything else? Rot. The final state of all living things. All right, I'm done. The fishmonger's door slams behind you. You hear the heavy scraping of a metal bar sliding across it. He is closed for the day. Oh, I didn't. Okay, so I didn't get the upgrade on either then. Now I have it. Flexo fishing pole now available in stores. Yeah, and then you have to buy it too. I still think is ridiculous. I've done all this work to get this thing just for you to tell me that now I have to go buy it. It's like taxes. 
people are definitely double dipping. All right, so I'm going to sell these fishing poles so I can get this new one that costs 460. So not only did I waste all my time on the water building this lovely thing, you're going to steal my livelihood for me to get it. 460. Do I even have enough by selling these things? 75 there. 37 there. Oh, nope, no, I do not. Well, now that I know you're an asshole when it comes to prices, I'm just going to leave. Let's go to the builder, tell the builder to get in the boat in some weird way, get in the cargo hold builder. Yep. Yep. We, 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 oh, damn it. I shouldn't have moved her there. Don't stand where the fishing pole is. Good riddance to see a great mare. I'm onward bound onto my boat with the creepy stranger you just met who crash landed here. No, I'm coming. Let him know 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 I'm coming. Let him know. Uh oh, lumber. Hello. Can't pass up an opportunity to get some lumber. You don't have the right. I gotta stop doing that. I'm not meant to have lumber. Ooh, something special floating over there. Do I have time to get it or am I gonna go crazy? I'm gonna go crazy. I see it. Oh, I see the evil ship. All good. I'm just gonna duck. I'm safe once I get on to the dock. Yes. Yes, this'll do. Thank you, fella. Don't assume my identity. Give me a short while to get things built around here. You're welcome back anytime. He reaches into our toolbox and pulls out a handful of components. Take these. Always good to have on hand. You damn right. I love these things. Thank you. Thank you. I'm going to research some things. Like, uh... Oh, yeah, my engine. So I can be faster. In prop engine. Not available in stores. Oh, that I did all the work just to go buy that thing. Ugh, blinding headache today. Did you come by yesterday? I don't recall. Anyway, what can I do for you? I don't know, man. I think I paid off my debt. Nobody said anything about it, but I think I paid it off. Sell all my big fish. Oh, wait. Yes? Maybe? Got a lot of money. Almost closing in on my new rod. Hydraulic rod costs $410 for a... For a rod? Oh, we lights. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let me, let me get this. Let me have this. Let me have this. Come on. There you go. Barbed eel. Okay. I'm sure that means something to somebody. I just don't know to who. Hey, fishmonger, I got some fish for you. I found this book out back. Could be useful to you. What kind of book is it? Rods, reels, and rigs added to cabin. This is something I have to pay for. The fishmonger reaches on the counter and hands you a damp, battered book. A few shimmering fish scales are stuck to the cover. That's gross. The spine broken with sharp angles and crooked curves. A row of teeth bent on revenge. That's fine. You can sell it. Nobody wants this, right? Yeah. My best caught fish. I start keeping these? This is like my best. I'm gonna put you in storage. This is my best one. Personal best. If I find one that beats it, I'll sell that one. What is glowing over here? The lighthouse towers above. Waves crash endlessly against the perilous rocks below. I know this is how I ended up on the island against my will. All creatures, humans or otherwise, would have their brittle bodies broken and thrown at its feet. You ponder the intrinsic power of the structure, a vast column of stone, shouldering the responsibility of countless lives. A lot of thought for a lighthouse. How long will it stand? How long until it decays into ruin? Its purpose exhausted. The lighthouse towers above. I feel inadequate all of a sudden. I don't know why. Weird feeling. Let me get some respite at this light. These? Turn my light back on. Wait a minute. Hold on. Turn my light back on. I'm going crazy out here. There we go. Do I feel better? I doesn't look like it's feeling better. Let's leave it out there for a few more days. Maybe we'll get some better things. Nothing slithers into your cargo hold. Um, excuse me? What? What is that? Infected. Practically worthless, but enough to starve off hunger. Ew. And how? Those are my personal best fish. Slither, slither. Slither, slither. The oh, whoa, what is this? Disturbed water riddled flounder. Species added to encyclopedia. What the hell is this? Baggy skin perforated with countless cavities. A singular shapeless mass spreads underneath. Okay, what, what's happening to the fish around here? Why is everything getting grown? The sickly stitch rises from your cargo hold. I'm going to start discarding things. 
yeah, get 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 this out of our cargo hold, man, before Oh, you're infecting all my stuff. Get rid of it. And get rid of it. And just I don't is this good or bad? It's still fresh, it says. It doesn't say infected, so I guess it's fine. Everything out here is infected. I'm gonna go even further out. It's still really in the afternoon. I wanna go even Oh, that's glowing. Good for me. A slab of rock juts from the water, bearing crude symbols of curved fish. At its base, a rough shape has been chiseled away. I've seen rough fish. I don't have them on me right now, but I've seen them. I'll remember that. Rough fish. Oh, what's that? I'll take it. The stone hums quietly, sending ripples through the air. Around it, faint shapes dance upon its surface, vanishing before your eyes can focus on them. Place your hand on the stone. That's what I like to do. Touch random rocks in the water. The cold stone does not respond to your touch. Oh, I guess I'm not special enough. Is it Johnny? Is Johnny the one you're after? Stingray. Eh? Uh oh, screwed that up. Eh. That up. Eh. Eh. Got it. Stingray, it's not even my personal best. This is too big for me. I don't know what to do with this thing. This is gonna have to be thrown away. Stupid. I need more space on this shit. It's dark. It's really dark. Why didn't y'all tell me to go back? We're safe. We're uh oh. That ain't good. That ain't bueno. I'm safe. Can't touch me. I've touched home base. Ruin mansion. What is it? What should I look for? Relics? You should ask around the towns in the morrow. Somebody sure to know something. Anything else? No, I guess not. Or no, we're gonna get the actually we're not gonna get the ocean thing. We're gonna get the dual rod. That way I can get one of one of these rods and save some space on that. 3% chance. No, what's the one? Engines provide 5% more movement speed than listed. Oh, that's a good one. I'm sorry, I read the wrong one. It was this one. Rods will really fish 10% more more effectively. Okay. Go so either get this one to save some space. We go ahead and get the hydraulic rod to get oceanic. Nah, I'm gonna get this one. Yeah, I'm gonna get this one. You can have either one, both of them actually. Yours. This bad boy. Go. Cool. I don't know why it takes so long to install a rod, but I'm not gonna ask no questions. What else do we have here? 36. We can do dual engine. That's why I'm so slow. I need to uh, invest in another engine. Yeah, let's do let's do another engine for now. It's gonna make me faster than I'm saying all for it. Go. Cool. We're out. Let's leave. Time to go. Got no money. Let's ask the mayor about what can I do for you. Shipwrecks. Shipwrecks. Unfortunately, there have been quite a few in recent years. The lighthouse helps, but even it struggles to cut through the fog some nights. We do our best to salvage and clear any shipwrecks that occur around the side of the island. Also, we hold the people hostage. That's why I'm still here. That should make fishing a bit easier for you. Around the back, though, it's a little harder to get to. There are still some wrecks towards the deeper patches. You'll want to avoid that area. No one want to go there. Now, what else can I do for you? Mm, strange occurrences. Well, I heard that my counterpart in Little Merrill met the most unfortunate end. They say he went mad quite suddenly. One day he was normal. The next, he was pacing the shoreline, hurling people's belongings into the sea. I, I heard about that, Mayor. After some days like this, he disappeared, never to be seen again. Nowadays, the tale of the old mayor is used to scare children. Not really to scare each other, he just threw stuff in the water. Because he's throwing children in the water. Not many remember him, myself included. And those that do remember don't seem to like talking about it. A most unpleasant subject. You can do nothing else for me, that's all I really wanted to ask you. Thanks for the tip, I guess. Trader, what can I do with the trader again? Welcome, found anything special lately? Maybe? What will you buy? Oh, you buy this stuff. Nope. Gold always holds its value. Sell that then. Junk tire. Yep, sell it. Sell it. Sell it. Nope, nope. Okay, so we're gonna go pick up our crab pot, but I think the next goal is pretty simple. We need to get up to $410 so that we can finally get the oceanic. Take them all. Get the oceanic, um, this thing, rod, 
And from there, we can start fishing in the deeper seas, and hopefully that'll make us make money quicker, and then we can go further out and, you know, survive. Something is floating up there, and it's not just fish heads. What is that? Oh, from the dredge, okay. Oh, this is kind of fast. Wait a minute. Why is this so fast? Hold on, there better be something good in here. Relic, oh, we got a relic. What the hell, it's a big old key. Nice, all right, we know what to do with that. Oh, I've always wanted a key. Keys mean treasure, right? Keys mean I'm about to get paid out here. I think this is a rugged fish too, hold on. Great eel, nope, that's an eel. Here they are, safe and sound. I've got something for you, weirdo. You're near the collector's house. He's standing at the back of the room, still holding the silver and crimson book. He seems impatient. Well, you have something, don't you? Show me. You hand him the key, the gold, the cold metal shimmers a strange shine as he holds it. The shape of the key, the teeth, the head, now somehow seems changed. Smaller. Has it always been this way? Is this all? Where's the lock? Motherfucker, I just got you the- I'm sorry, I meant person, I just got you the key. Maybe be a little grateful about the key. It's like when I handed that homeless person $10 and they're like, well, what about that 20? I gave you 10! The collector grows agitated. It seems the pieces we're looking for have traveled further than I anticipated. Much further, I suspect. In that case, allow me to aid your travels. He turns a few pages in his book and mutters something low under his breath. Okay, did you just drug me? Burst of light fills your vision and you stagger back briefly. New ability unlocked haste. Otherworldly speed at a price. Now go, we have more relics to uncover. What, what did you just give me? My intuition tells me that the current may have carried some debris to the southeast toward Gale Cliffs. Make that your priority. All right, I'll do what I want. I'll mark a location on your map where you can begin your search. Anything else? Not really. What'd you do to me though? The book holds power from the deep. I merely extended its powers towards you. Is there one in particular you wish to know more about? Yeah, haste. The words of haste are instant and cruel. They will impart a terrible speed to your vessel. Be warned, however, it may put a great deal of stress on your engines. Hmm. Are there other powers you wish to know more about? No, that's the only one you gave me. How long have you lived here? Quite some time. I used to be a fisherman, as was my father before. But two decades ago, I took up residence here and needed to focus on other endeavors. I found that this island has a certain strength to it. Those dark basalt columns stretching downwards into the deep. Anything else? No, oh, you're kind of boring to talk to. Who owned those relics, though? Yes. Who? He looks at you for a moment. A look of something like regret flashes in his eyes. An old friend. Anything else? Is it me? Am I the old friend? Have I forgotten who I am? Is that why you looked at me like that? Ace to add speed to your end but increases panic and engine heat. Like with Ian, use it by home. I don't think I need to haste right now. I mean, maybe if I was getting chased, but I feel like this is a perfect speed. The lighthouse keeper emerges from the dark forest that flanks the town. She walks towards the dock with a confused look on her face. Oh, it's you. you don't want to see me? Your engine. It sounds like... I'm sorry. I mistook it for the vessel of an old friend. It's the second time somebody's mentioned old friend around me. Am I the old friend? Dejected, she turns and walks back towards the lighthouse. Do we go talk to her? Lighthouse keeper? What is it? What do you know about the old mayor of Little Merrill? That's, he's, I try not to think about him. It's a painful memory for us all. Some nights I still think I can hear the hum of his engine sailing past the bay. But I know he's gone, and I don't want to talk about it anymore. Okay, what about the fog? Nobody knows, it's changed recently. It lingers in the mornings now, where before, it didn't seem to have the same strength. Even in the midday sun, I feel it. A malice concealed in shadows, waiting for night to sweep the island. He glances up at the lighthouse. If this light should ever falter, then gods help us. Ew, I'm gonna go now. Not because I'm afraid, but because you weird me the hell out. Or oh, friggin' light. And $50, because everything costs money here. Cool, one light space, additional slots configured. I'm welcome. Oh, so you have to do all of these to get this new hole? Wow, and it costs $500. Why does everything cost so much money? What the hell? Why is this so real? Whee! We're so hasty. Oh, wow. We fast. We did it. Is it a freaking mackerel? Oh, are you kidding me? I'm going to fish all the mackerel out of here. Lumpy mackerel. Species added to encyclopedia. A writhing mass of lumps twisting and pulling their way under the scales of the vessel. How long can it have lived like this? I don't know, but I don't think we're supposed to be eating these, man. Killing the village. 
Got a normal squid here. I mean, did me no good. Oh no. Oh no 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 no. We can't have that. Turn in bad boys. Back on. Yay, money. I need to repair this crab pot. I forgot to put this back out. We're headed for it now, ladies. We are on our way to Gale Cliffs, the Devil's Breath, the end of the world. So many nicknames that they call it. All of them sound so pleasant. So excited to see what we catch over there. What awaits us over there. That's why I left early in the morning. Mama always said the early bird catches the dragon in midair. This has got to be oceanic. There's no way this is not oceanic, right? Yeah, I thought not. Yeah, no, no, I get it. No, I get it. I'm not. I'm not ready for that. I'm not cool enough for that kind of fishing. But I'm working towards it. Is this it? Are we already here? Quick. We are not. <laughs> we are very far from being close. These fish are moving kind of weird. Though I really want to fish them. No, that's gonna pass too much time. Let's just keep pushing it. Hello. Whoa! You approach a hooded figure. Wild and dark blue robes, their faces barely visible. Beefy. Hello, stranger. Fisherman, please help. You can barely hear their rasping whisper above the wind and waves. Fulfill the hunger. Huh? The hooded figure unfurls an old paper scroll. They point to a shape shown at the top. It appears to be a blue mackerel. Oh. Yeah, I can do that. That's that one's pretty easy. I'm not mad at that request. Back, might be some blue mackerel right here. Nope, there's not. These are eels. Sorry, buddy. Big old eel, too. Hey! Look at all that panic beside me. Just because I'm going a little bit faster than normal. There's two boats over there. I mean, there's one boat, and then there. Wow, this place is cool. There's a bunch of stuff over here. I'm glad I came. Am I allowed to fish this? Yes, I am. Yeah, got it. Blackmouth salmon. Oh, dope. That's really cool. I'm gonna not. Oh, it's a big one too. I know I shouldn't explore, but what is this? Oh, it's just a dock. Okay, cool. Ah. <gasps> Ahoy there, you a new face? A fisherman, I take it. Perfect. Well, we should get along like a house on fire. Haha, <laughs> what? I'm a traveler and a merchant and an arsonist, all rolled into one. If you have any fish to sell, I'll take them on board and sell them at the next town I come across. Likewise, I haul a small cargo of equipment between places. You're welcome to peruse the stock and see if there's anything that takes your fancy. Come and see me when you're ready to trade. Uh, well, I kind of am, actually. Fish market. On this side of the pontoon, I'll buy any fish you want to sell. I'll also keep a stock of crab pots for... S I have a crab pot. I've been using that. Anyway, how much would you buy this great eel for? Sell it. And what about this bad boy? For $24, that's it? And you're just selling crab pots, so don't need anything from there. What about your shipyard? Most of this gear is super heavy, so I don't offload it at every pontoon. But come aboard and see what equipment I've got for sale. Nothing that I can use. Actually, it's all the same stuff from other place. Oh, I do want another light, though. Oh, you know what? I'm going to go ahead and do it, dude. I'm going to make that. Ah, uh, no. Let me just keep saving. Let me be patient. We'll be there soon enough. I need that oceanic rod. What's up, oh. traveling merchant? Hey, again, come by for a chat. Do you need help with anything? Assistance from an angler. Absolutely. I've been trying to collect records of where each species of fish is located. I figured out most of them on my travel so far, but there are a few I haven't been able to track down. Reckon you can share your info with me? Sure, I can help with that. Great. The fish I have left to track down are oarfish, gulper eel, goliath tigerfish, and col colacanth. I know a little bit about each species already, so maybe I can point you in the right direction. Mm. What did you want to know? Nothing, really. I go live tigerfish. These guys are legitimately scary. They hunt in murky, swampy waters using the shade of trees as cover. What about the other fish? Oarfish? Even that the oarfish has a long and fragile body, I suspect they'll even reason reasonably deep but calm water. Maybe the shelter of Gale Cliffs would suit them. What about the other fish? Gulper eels? I know that gulper eels live at the deepest depths imaginable. You'll have to get some specialist gear to catch one of those. Oh, that sounds fun. Polacons? Actually, I have no idea where coal camps might be, but they have a primordial feel to them, don't you think? 
What about the other fish? Okay, that helped me at none. No, there's nothing else I want to talk about. About those rare fish you wanted me to find? What did you want to know? No, that's all the information I needed. I thought there was something new there, but there wasn't. Are you always... Are you seeing anything strange at the sea? Strange things? Plenty. But I try not to dwell on them. You could go crazy, you know. <laughs> but hey, if you're seeing strange things, maybe you're not seeing them the right way. Maybe they're not so strange after all. Or perhaps they are, and they're incredibly dangerous. Better not risk it. Is there anything else you want to talk about? You're no help at all, so no, I'm leaving. I am leaving. Maybe there is. Maybe there isn't. Maybe I am. Maybe I'm not. Got it. Artifact manifest. Added to cabin. Artifact manifest. Vessel. The SY Grand Prize. Owner, Mr. Michael Schultz. Port is Gale Cliffs. Oaken music box. Music box. Music box. Purchased from the antiquarian at Little Morrow for a bargain price. Previously salvaged from an undisclosed shipwreck. Has the letter J carved on the underside. Otherwise in reasonable condition. Has not been opened for fear of damaging the mechanism. Pending inspection by locksmith. Wooden mass. Carved wooden tribal mass. Said to bring good luck, fertility, good health, fortune, rain, and protection from evil spirits. Traded for a pair of socks. And a pocket watch chain. 12 piece tea set. Bona. Bone China. I don't know why I said Bona. That was a female bone, I guess. Bone China. Six times cup, six times saucers acquired from an Eastern dealer. Do not use. Jar of Earth. Get a jar of dirt. I'm gonna jar of dirt. A jar containing earth from a meteor impact site, allegedly. I'm so happy I collected that. That's gonna be so useful on my travels. I'm gonna fish some more. Press F when a ball reaches his own. Oh, the real faster. Okay, it's a different game. I like that. Oceanic perch. And there's only one space to them? I love that. I love that so much. It makes it so much easier. Okay, it's kind of low here, so I'll leave them alone, but I'm so happy. I don't know what the hell that even is. Different kind of fish and uh, stonefish. Oh, yeah, those are those ugly, ugly fish. Oh, who am I kidding? All fish are beautiful. Just in their own special way, they'll find there's somebody to love them. What's going on over here? Ingfell. Ingfell resident. You need help with anything? I've been trying to prepare a special meal for my partner, but I've been having some issues. Around here, we consider aged congler eels to be a particular delicacy. You may say they're rotting, ew, but they're delicious if prepared correctly, which is to leave them out in the sun until they start to stink and then flies appear. And then when the maggots are bursting out of their eyes, you know they're ready. Normally, we bury them in the ground and allow them to mature, but our dogs keep digging them up and eating them. I can't raise the subject without spoiling the surprise. Can you bring me an aged congler eel? Not by choice, but I will. Thank you. You'll be decently compensated. Decently compensated. Anything else? No, not really. Uh, Odd characters? Have you heard the tale of Mogron? He was an old whaler from these parts. As the whales got more scarce, the crew spent longer and longer at sea trying to find them. Mogron, it seems, wasn't cut out for this. He formed an unnatural attachment to a scroll he found on one of those trips. He says the scroll told him how to become immortal by eating mutated fish. You will start calling him Mogren the Fishman. One day, the town awoke to find all the boat's nets and lines had been slashed in the night and old Mogren was nowhere to be found, nor has he been seen since. Oh, okay. Anything else? Well, that was a pretty good story. Uh, what can you tell me about the cliffs? Mm. Many years ago, the cliffs used to be a haven for smugglers and pirates. Legend tells of two pirate lords who used Gale Cliffs as their hideout. Ooh, treasure. Supposedly, they got into some disagreement and a huge battle was fought around the south side of the cliffs. There certainly are a large number of wrecks in that area. Both sides were completely destroyed. Their treasure hoards left abandoned and claimed to this day. I dare say they'd be worth a lot if anyone knew where to find them. Anything else? Oh, no, you told me plenty. Mm. Hello, retired whaler. What is it? Uh. Chipwrecks? The real wreck around here is the settlement at Gale Cliffs. My brother ditched us and moved on over to those cliffs years ago. I suspect he's regretting his decision now, the devil. Anything else? Uh, strange things? Mm. Some time ago, just after the last well was brought in, there was a sudden exodus from Gale Cliffs. Dozens of ships sailed past, packed up, and hurrying away north as fast as they could. That's where I'm from. Against my will. They were waving and shouting something at us from their boats, but we couldn't make it out. Never did see or hear of them since. Anything else? You can tell me about Ingfall. Ingfell used to be a whaling town, emphasis on the used to be. 
We would go out, bring in a carcass, and then the rest of the town would get to work. But the whales got scarce some 20 years ago, and now look at us, barely scraping by for a new candle. Anything else? No, it seems like you're all talked out, bud. All I got, and if that's all you got, uh, I'm gonna undock then. Go fish some more. Look at these fish right here. Oh, it's one of those ugly fish again. Yeah. Yep, it's an ugly one. Gotta find some Kong fish, Kong eel, or something like that. Something or another. Ooh. Dredging time. Oh, they're no, they're fine. Oh, those look different, though. Different type of fish right here. What is this? A tiger mackerel. Ew. I want another one. Give me another tiger macro. Yeah, nice. Let's go sail, because I ran out of space. It's the only downside of this is that you can run out of space really quickly. Just here to sell some things. Crab pots can be quite profitable if you can find a good place to drop them. Just don't forget where you put them. I'm just here to sell. These are all yours. Yep, yep. And store some things. Need to do some night fishing. Get some prized possessions going. Like these bad boys right here. Hello. Got him. Trophy cat. A black mouth salmon. Hell yeah, I got him. Get him. Got him. Get him. Hell yeah, I got him. Get him. Got him. Oh, missed that one. That was bad. Got him. Hell yeah, I got him. Get him. Got him. Get him. Hell yeah. Just decaying black mouth. Ooh. Shimmering blackness permeates the flesh of this relentless fish. Muscles are atrophied and decaying, but still it swims on. Okay. Let's go further in where there seems to be the possibility. Quite probably. Treasury. Good old treasure. Yep. 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 Black mouth. Why didn't I sell this? It's stale. I am an idiot. I should have sold that already. Yep. Trophy. New salmon record. Don't even know if these go for a lot. I'm just going to keep selling them anyway. An old man emerges from one of the nearby broken buildings and hobbles towards you. Oh, uh, greetings. Don't get many visitors around here. What is it that you need? This place doesn't seem safe. Why do you live here? I, I've been stubbornly holding out here for quite some time. Truth be told, I've been reconsidering my position lately. I have been happy here for so long. My wife and I had such a beautiful life until the collapse. Oh. Now I'm alone and cut off by land and sea. That's only with these trembling rocks on all sides. I could move you to Ingfell. It's not that simple. My brother would never... Uh, you see, I used to live at Ingfell with my brother. He was a whaler back in the day. I know your brother. There's only one other person on that island. Things were bad. We fought a lot. Mostly about how our parents' inheritance should be divided. We were in the prime foolishness of our youth. When my wife and I decided to move here, I took the family crest. I stole it from him. Now, after all this time, I can't return without it. Where is it? That's where the problem lies. After the collapse, that creature, it dragged debris from the houses down into its wretched burrows. What creature? The crest went down with it. It's a lost cause, I know. But if you were to find it, it's a large, well boned crest. It would mean the world to me. Don't get your freaking hopes up, dude. I'll look for it. Thank you, but please, be careful. I guess I'll try. Uh, research? I have nothing really to research, huh? Yep. I'm kind of useless out here in these streets. I don't have anything to fight also, so like I don't know if me going to wrestle a big old creature is the smartest thing, because I don't... What the hell is that? 